When I became a technology teacher, I tried to make the standard pop-pop engine for my students to make as a project, but it was difficult. Eventually, I broke away from the normal design. I'm not the brightest guy in the world, but nobody outworks me. Well over a thousand engines of trial and error, and two decades later, there's a design that normal people who can follow directions can build from scratch with easy to find materials, most of it recycled. It costs little more than a few hours of your time making it. It's fast and loud. Making your own steamboat is very satisfying. And once you've gotten one working, you can start experimenting and innovating. You can communicate with other pop-pop experimenters transcending international borders. I've made wonderful friends with putt-putt innovators throughout the world. Some visited and even went to my school and worked with my students. I have pop-pop pals in South America, Australia, Africa, Asia, North America, and Europe. I am making a separate in-depth video about the science of pop-pop boats. But before you start building this design, you should know that this steam engine is just an airtight chamber made from an aluminum can. Water droplets inside are flash heated to steam by a candle. The top of the chamber is curved for rigidity. The bottom is flat so it flexes concave and convex. There are no moving parts exactly, but the flexing bottom changes the volume inside the engine, pumping water and steam in and out. The flex pump is like the kind of oil can that you push the bottom to pump out oil. Drinking straws glued into the engine direct the flow and use the momentum of the column of water to create an in and out cycle. You can see the water column moving in this slow motion shot. The water doesn't just flow out of the engine, it snaps back in, a repeating cycle in and out several times a second. My friends, I know you. You've always liked to explore. You want to go your own way. You're creative, a free spirit. I like that, but this first time, please follow directions exactly. Experiment after you've made the first engine that works. And related to that, don't do anything not in the instructions. Trust me that there are reasons for all the finicky details. Although an experienced person can make a putt-putt boat in less than an hour, your first will take you several hours. You'll encounter operations that'll seem strange. The instructions are broken down into steps. Some are long and some are short. There are some steps, the first gluing operation for example, where you need to see the whole step before you start or the glue will harden as you try to figure out what to do next. So watch a whole step before you do anything. How do you know when a step has ended? You'll see it repeated in fast motion. And you will hear me talking like this. And of course, when the instructions are not clear, simply click on the playhead and drag it back a little bit to see that part again until it makes sense and drag it back a little bit to see that part again until it makes sense.